Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking SC77. Again, uh, for the first time today, first video today, um, I went to my cigar shop today, my local tobacconist, and I got some uh, cool stuff, so I'm going to show you my, my little haul. Anyway, before I do that, I just want to do a quick topic, a never end topic. Um, aromatics gateway to, to smoking Eng English. So, this topic is just random, I just wanted to do it quickly, so a lot of people, most people who start smoking pipes, tobacco pipes, start off with English tobacco, uh, aromatic tobacco, sorry, um, aromatic tobaccos, and then perhaps move on to the more um, stronger, um, more robust tobaccos such as the English tobaccos, or as I like, I prefer to call them, Latakia tobaccos, because technically they're not called English tobaccos. Um, a lot of people still call Latakia blends, English blends, they're actually blends that have um, no additives and are just pure tobacco and they're Latakia blends, so they're not English blends. That's a very common mis misconception among pipe smoking, so, but a lot of people move on to them. So, I want to know what your guys, your guys' opinion on that is. Um, do you think aromatic tobaccos are a gateway to smoking uh, Latakia blends or English blends, you know? The way I look at it, I think um, most people with um, there's there's basically there's three different scenarios. One is you start smoking a pipe, you're always going to smoke aromatic tobaccos. Number two, um, you start smoking a pipe, then you're then you're going to go to the English tobaccos, the uh, English tobaccos, the uh, Latakia blends. And number three, you're going to um, go to the Virginia Freaks uh, or Vapors or uh, Virginia Tobaccos or Burleys. So. Those are the three scenarios typically. So, just for end topic, I just wanted to do that quickly. Um, it was on my mind, and um, it's one of my scheduled video topics. So, give me your thoughts on that. Anyway, um, this is my little haul for um, my tobacconist. Uh, this was one of my um, big uh, presents for Christmas. So, Christmas um, that I was able to go to my tobacconist um, because, as a lot of you know, I don't drive myself, so it's kind of hard to get it. It's it's kind of hard to go to my tobacconist because they're they're um like 30 minutes away, so, but I went there this afternoon, I smoked a couple cigars and a pipe, so, and speaking of pipe, speaking of a pipe, I actually bought a new pipe, so, let me show you this the way the pipe lawyer would, the way the pipe lawyer would, pipe lawyer would, um, isn't she a beauty, wow, isn't she a beauty, this is a pipe that's made in Germany, um, I'm not sure the actual name of this pipe, but, um, it's a beautiful bent pipe, um, big, big bowl, big, big bowl, um, very, very fat, um, uh, thick bowl, um, great smoker, just smoked it today in my Tobacconist Smoking Lounge, and yeah, so, other than that, I got, um, let me just, I got a little bit of backy, got a little bit of backy, this is one of my Tobacconist uh, House Blends, the Church Warden. Um, I might be doing a review on that, um, maybe tonight, I'm not sure, maybe tonight, um, I'm not sure, I did a review on it a long time ago, but I think I'm going to do a full review on it, uh, anyway, got some, uh, pipe cleaners, and a new tamper, and a pipe, a pipe pouch, pipe pouch, anyway, that's about it, so that's my new, the biggest thing obviously was the pipe, you know, beautiful pipe, beautiful briar, um, didn't get cigars, um, well I got cigars to smoke, you know, I got cigars to smoke in the lounge, um, I got a Rocky Patel and a Padron, but, um, a cheap Padron, but, uh, didn't feel like, uh, buying cigars or buying more pipe tobacco, because honestly, I have a lot of pipe tobacco as it is, anyway, anyway I have like a pound in my room, so, over a pound, so, didn't feel the need to buy it, and I have plenty of cigars in my humidor, so, anyway, that's about it, peace out, bye, see you later, and that's about it, bye.